Well, we've collected 120 gallons of maple sap, and we're going to run it through the RO machine to save us time boiling. Some of you may actually be familiar with RO machines, as you may have one in your house. When it comes to maple syrup, though, we use these things backwards. Let me get into a little bit how this works, and I'll explain to you what I just said. Essentially what an RO machine does is it sucks out the impurities out of your water and produces pure water. The way I've got this set up right now is the yellow hose sucks out the maple sap, runs it through the machine. The red hose is the concentrated sap that goes back into that same barrel. And that blue hose is the wastewater. Which if you were running the system in your house, the blue hose is the water you would be drinking. Now, normally when you do maple syrup, you would just boil this down and that would be it. What this machine will do is it will remove a significant amount of water. So I will turn my 120 gallons here probably into five five gallon pails. Which means I'm not going to be boiling nearly as long or I can do twice as much syrup in the same amount of time. For me personally, I find batch processing makes the most sense because I can basically turn the machine on and just let it run and forget about it. Speaking of turning it on. My sap is currently at about two bricks of sugar content. And that will go up as we remove the water from the sap. Now I could run that red hose into a separate barrel to have the concentrated sap rather than sending it back into the barrel. But this way here, it will keep picking it up and keep sending it until there's barely any water coming out of it. And that's pretty much when you know it's done. So basically, I'm going to leave this sit here and I'm going to go shovel all the crap out of my chicken coop from my deep litter method last year, which I really don't want to do. When I'm done doing that, I'll come back and I'll show you guys if there was any change in the sugar content of the maple sap.